So I'm asked all the time what strategy is. And I think that what happens is people overcomplicate this whole concept of what strategy is. Half of strategy is not frustrating your customers. Half of strategy is not frustrating your employees. So people come at strategy and they try to create these big strategy documents or they try to have all this sort of profound thought process in the way. No, let's make this straightforward. So if half a strategy is not frustrating my customers or my employees, then half of strategy is just getting the table stakes, orthodox parts of my business operating at a median level. So just think about this for a second. Customers come in, they have standard expectations, standard things that they simply expect. You go into a nice restaurant, you expect somebody to greet you and to come take you to the table and to have menus and water supposed to be there and the silverware hopefully, and we can go down a long list of things you simply expect. You didn't choose to go to that restaurant because they take you to the table or they give you a menu. That's just a standard expectation. So as long as we can keep these orthodox table stakes expectations at a sort of a median level, just where everybody else is, then what we do that might be unique could stand out. So let's think of this this way. If half of strategy is table stakes, then the other half of strategy is potentially what separates us in the minds of customers. So what we want to do is we want to focus, honestly, most of our time, money, mental firepower on fixing the table stakes things, on fixing the orthodox things, so that what we do over here might potentially stand out. I was working with a bank a couple years ago, well, more than a few years ago, and I was curious about the pens. So, you know, you walk into a bank, remember back in the day we, we got to walk into banks, got to walk into a bank and you take a pen and you'd write your deposit slip or whatever it is you're doing. Now, you know that half the pens aren't gonna work anyway. That's an orthodox expectation in a bank, right? But they're chained up. And so I wanna know how good the chain is. Like, how good does the chain need to be? Are we, are we talking about, you know, walking in and looking at the pen going, man, I like that pen. That pen's coming with me. Tear it off. No, right? So what do we say about our customers that we chain it up is a whole nother story. But the orthodox expectation is that we have pens. The pens don't have to be nice. The pens don't have to be fancy. We don't have to put a 40 pound test weight on the things so we could take a Marlin in, right? We just need to have a reasonable amount of operating pens, a reasonable expectation that they're available on the table. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the chains, but that's okay. So that's the orthodox stuff. Then if we can get all that orthodox stuff, those table stake things in alignment so that they're at least relatively the same relative to all our competitors, now you can take the things that you think truly separate you in the minds of customers and you can focus your energy on that. Last comment about this sort of strategy thing. You will get a better bang for your buck by fixing an orthodox thing than you will by all the cool things you come up with. So think of strategy as most of strategy is just making sure that the orthodox is there, making sure we're not frustrating our customers and our employees. And then the other part of strategy is what truly separates us in the minds of customers.